All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to send all praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, 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 by Hashem, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the uh, elders and the men of the Lord who have taught, taught other men this word and the water to you for sacrificing your lives to push out this truth for a long time. You know, and teach another man the water for your sacrifices and the water for all you other brothers out there who, who have been taught this truth and who are teaching other brothers. To you, I say Shalom and the water for your sacrifice as well. The water Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Wakakadash, Barak Athab. All right. Uh, woke up kind of late today. I was kind of under the in under the spirit a little bit, but um, hey man, woke up late, but hey, I gotta come out and push this truth. All right. All right. The, today's subject is uh, what must you do to be saved, man? Okay. What must you do to be saved? All right. Now let's look up that word "saved" and uh, find out what it really means. All right. Okay. Let's get into it. Saved. Definition. To keep safe or rescue from harm or danger. Keep and store up for future use. Okay? All right? What must you do to be saved? Okay? In order, and I'm glad I read this definition because in order for you to get saved, the Most High is going to have to utilize you, man. He's not going to save you for, for, for nothing. If he saves you, that means he's going to use you. All right? And some people think they can just go to church and just raise their hands in the air, you know, and, and, and Pastor Polchak can just put hands on them and they can get saved just like that. No, when you get saved, it's a process. There are things you have to do once you become saved. Okay, I think I went into that last week. I'm not sure. But I'm going to go over to some of the things you have to do to get saved. All right? Some of the things you have to do to get saved. What must you do to be saved? All right? It doesn't require just reading a certain Bible verse or a scripture and just riding along with that and just then at the end of the day, you just do what you want to do. No, it don't work like that. Okay, you have to honor the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay, honor the high and holy days. All right. There are certain things you have to do, man. It takes faith, but we do know in scriptures, we, uh, uh, it says, well, if you're paraphrasing, uh, faith without works is dead. All right, so if you're saved, it's going to take works for you to get saved. I mean, works for you to get to receive. If you want to get saved, it's going to take works for you to get saved. It's going to take works for you to uh, obtain salvation. All right. Let me, um, let me see. All right, let's go to the book of uh, Acts. All right, let's go to the book of Acts. See here the book of Acts, 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 chapter. Chapter 16. Acts. Chapter 16. Alright. And we're gonna start at I don't know what my app is uh messing up this morning. All right, this is what we're going to do. All right. All right, got it right here. The book of Acts, chapter 16, uh, starting at verse 30. All right. Yeah, I think I went over this last week, as a matter of fact. Um, let me start at, uh, let me start at 26. Acts 16, starting at verse 26. And, um, and suddenly there, there was a great earthquake. Well, you know what? Um, let me start at... Let me start at 22. Acts 16 to 22. And the multitude rose up together against them. And the uh, magist magist magistrates rent 
of their clothes and commanded them to be beat. And it's talking about how uh, it's Paul and the other brother. Let me see, Paul and uh, let me move up to see because I don't want to get the name wrong. I believe it was uh, Silas. Let me see, let me move up a little bit. Let me see, let me see. I think it was Paul and Silas. I forgot the other brother that was with him. But it was Paul and another brother, you know, uh, they were doing their thing. And uh, the people came up against them. All right. And uh, let me start at 22. So, and the multitude rose up against, rose up together against them. And the magistrates rent off their clothes and commanded them to be beat. Okay. And when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast down, they cast them into prison. Okay, so uh, in order for you to get saved, you know, to receive salvation, you're going to have to go through trial and tribulation. Uh, most, the Most High, Yahweh Shah did say in Scripture that some of us will be cast into prison for His name's sake. We'll be paraphrasing. All right. So in order for you, in order to receive salvation, it's going to take. In order for you to be saved, it's going to take work, man. See, um, the scripture says, study to show thyself approved, man. And also, the Most High says, uh, I will try, uh, Buffy paraphrase, and I will try thee in the, in the furnace like like gold or something like that. Buffy paraphrase, and I, I'm not sure how that verse, that verse goes, but I, it's, it's in my head. But uh, he, he, the most, at the end of the day, the Most High is going to try us, man, you know, to see if we're down with him. He's not going to just take your word for it, man. You know, the Most High is going to test you. Okay? So in order, in order for you to get saved, you're going, to got, you're going to have to go through trials. Certain trials, certain tribulations, man. Like Paul and, I think it Paul and Silas was. Look at Yahweh Shah. He died on the cross. Look at his disciples. His disciples got tried after he died. All right? Uh, look at, look at um, some of the other prophets, man. They went through it. All right? So how, what, what, what you think you're going to have to do, man? You're going to have to go through it, too, to, to make yourself worthy before the Most High. It's going to take work. You can't just, like I said before, you can't just go to church. You can't just go to church and just raise your hands up and stretch your hands out like that and say, Father, save me. Nah. Okay? First of all, the first thing you must do, to tell you the truth, the first thing you must do in order for you to be saved, to start the process, is start the fear of the Lord, man. It says in scriptures, the fear of the Lord is your treasure. The fear of the Lord is your refuge, if you're paraphrasing. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Well, you have to, you have to establish that base for the fear of the Lord, man. All right? And come to con conclusion that he is the father of spirits. He controls everything. Okay? The most, and in the scriptures it says, the most I, I created good, I created evil. I, I, the Lord, created all things. Yes, the Lord did create evil. Satan does work for the most high, man. Proof of that, when you go to the book of Job... When you go to the book of Job, um, he asked, when he asked Satan, where art thou? Let me, let me see if I can get that. I know I'm going off subject a little bit. But uh, just to prove to you that the devil works for, that well, Shatan works for the Most High. Let's go to the book of Job. Um, let Because people think that, you know, Satan got cast down, you know what I mean? I mean but Esau's the ones that's going to get cast down, man. It's not Satan himself, you know, because he works for the Most High. All right? Um, let me see. I think it's in the book of Job. It was in the book of Job. Let me see if I can find it. It's in the book of Job, J-O-B, back in the day, I thought that book said job, you know what I mean? But I was ignorant in the word, you know? Uh, let me see, I think it's around. Okay, uh, this is the book of Job, chapter 2, starting at verse uh, 1. Again, there was, there was a day when the sons of God, Yahweh, came to the present to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan came also among them to present himself to the Lord. So he's a being 
that Yahweh made. Satan is a being that Yahweh made on the left hand side because it says in scripture. Again, there was there was a day when the sons of Yahweh came to pre present themselves before the Lord and 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 Shaitan, what we call Satan, came also among them to present himself before the Lord. Okay? When you go to verse 2, and the Lord said unto unto Satan, From whence cometh thou? And Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down it. Okay, now let's go to verse 3. And the Lord said unto Satan, Okay, hast thou considered my servant Job? So right now you hear you, the, the, the Lord and, and Satan are having a direct conversation with, with each other right now, man. Okay. Hast thou considered my servant Job? That there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, one that fear the Lord. Okay, so Satan and uh, Yahweh, whom the world enemy calls God, are having a conversation. All right, there's no war in the heavens, man. When it talks about that war in heaven, that's talking about that's uh, uh, talking about Esau and Yahweh, man, about that uh, space force program. All right. Okay, and you know uh, Esau thinks he can. Uh, uh, thinks that he can um, uh, uh, defeat the Most High. You know, it's not talking about Shaitan uh, having a war in heaven. Nah, it's not like that. Okay? And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him, in, like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, one that feareth Yahweh. Okay? And what did I say? What must you do, what must you do to be saved? You have to have a fear for the Lord. As you can see, Job had a fear for the Lord. He had an established base, a concrete base of a fear of the Lord. Okay? Now, if your fear for the Lord is firm, like these bricks right here, like, the, like these bricks under my feet, you know, you're, you're going to be really real grounded. And you know what Job went through? Job went through hell, man. But he had a fear for the Lord. That's what kept him, kept him straight. Even when you're going through shit, man, the fear of the Lord will keep you straight, man. You know? All right, let me keep reading. Let me start our verse 3 again. And the Lord said unto Sh Shatan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there, is, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, one that feareth Yahweh? One that feareth Yahweh. So in order for you to be perfect in the sight of the Lord, you have to have a fear of the Lord. Okay? You can't just be all happy and shit all the time. Excuse my French. But that's what uh, people think. That you, in order for you to be saved, uh, you can't get angry. You can't do this and you can't do that. Why you can't you get angry? Why can't you get angry? It doesn't say in the scriptures, do not get angry. All right? In scriptures it says, fear the Lord. That's what Job did, man. That's what Noah did. In the scriptures it said, Noah, what we paraphrase Noah being... Being uh, what we paraphrasing, Noah, Noah being having the fear of the Lord, moved with Noah moved with fear or something like that. I can't think of it. Um, but Noah moved with fear. That's why he built that ark, man. All right. And the Yahweh Shai said he he was a Job was a perfect man. All right. Why? Because he feared the Lord. All right. And that's how we gotta move. If you want to get saved, if you want to start says for you want to start the process of being saved, when you come in this truth, man, it's like filling out an application. Okay, you, you read the information. Okay, you realize. Okay, Esau's a lie. I'm an Israelite. I'm from this tribe. Woo, woo. All right. It's like signing a contract. All right. But in order to for this contract to be fulfilled, that you are uh, whatever you're getting into, you have to go through certain things. And if you don't go through these certain things, okay, then the contract is not is 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 is, is not going to be accounted for. All right. So you, it's a process, man. Okay. That's why I bring out every day I come out. Well, mainly every day I come out here, I say, establishing a fear for the Lord is very very important. You know why? But because the fear of the Lord will will keep you in line. Okay. I guarantee you out here the the men who have the fear of the Lord. They know what's coming. All right? They know what's coming. 
All right, you have a lot of people out here who think everything's gonna be all right because everything is, is opening up again because uh, you know you can go out again and stuff like that. Nah, man. Hey, fucked up times are coming. All right, bad times are coming, man. All right, we're just waiting on it, man. And the men of the Lord are the ones out here who are uh, looking up articles and stuff like that, trying to tell you that all these things that are happening right now are written in scriptures. All right. So you got the man to fuck up, man, and realize that the day of the Lord is near. Excuse my French. But you got to realize that, man. If you don't realize that, then you're going to be caught. When Esau comes in like a flood, you're going to be caught with your pants down. You know what I'm saying? You might piss or, 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 or whatever shit in your pants or whatever. How y'all doing? All right. But, hey, man, Esau is getting, to come, getting ready to come in like a flood, man. You know? That's why you got to get ready. You got to gird yourselves, man. You know? Gird yourselves. If you don't gird yourself, hey, what's going to happen? You're going to die. The most is going to have a nuke on your ass, man. You know? Excuse my French. But, hey, when it comes to getting saved, it's a process. It's not just stretching your hands up and telling the Lord, oh, forgive me for my sins. Receive my soul. No. No. <laughs> you trying to give up the ghost now? <laughs> really? That's why... Uh, when you come into the truth, man, it's, uh, you, it's, it's important to know what you're getting yourself into, all right? When you put your hand on that plow, hey, you got to keep it moving. Don't look back. Don't look back. And if you do look back, ask the most how to forgive you. Don't take your hand off of it, all right? Don't take your hand off of it, all right? So, hey, sometimes you, you may say to yourself, am I still a man of the Lord? I, ask, I question myself that on a daily basis, but that's good. That's good because, you know what, that, that helps you want to do more for the Lord, man. That helps you want to do more for the Lord. All right? But let's read the scripture again. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like, like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man that feareth the Lord, that feareth Yahweh? And, was, I can't pronounce that word. And sketcheth evil, and still he holdeth fast his integrity. Although, although, although thou movest me against him to destroy him with thy cause. And Satan answered unto the Lord, answered the Lord, and said, Skin for skin, yeah, all that a man hath will he give his life. But put forth thine hand, but put forth thine hand now, and touch his bone and his flesh, and I will curse thee to thy face. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, he is a and the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, he is in thy hand, but save his life. Okay? So then you know the story goes down to what Job started to get, you know what I'm saying? Wrath came down on him, man. You know what? But the thing that kept him firm, the thing that kept him in line, was a fear of the Lord. That's what must you. That's what must you do to be saved, man. Okay. That's one of the first. The first thing you have to come come to terms with. All right. Is the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is your salvation. The fear. I mean, the fear of the Lord is your treasure. It's like it. The fear of the Lord is your treasure. Now, the fear of the Lord leads to salvation. But see, some people when they get into uh, when they get into this truth, they just they follow they fall back. They just start to lose the fear for the Lord. They start to go back into the world, you know. But that's what hey, that's where the fear of the Lord comes into play, man. As you can see here, the brother Job had a fear of the Lord. All right. Now let's go to the book of uh, let's go to the book of Acts. Let's go back to the book of Acts. All right. Let's go to the book of Acts, chapter 16. All right, let's go to the book of Acts, chapter 16, starting at verse 33. And he took them, and he's saying, okay, uh, okay, let me get into this. Uh, the brother Paul and, and Silas, okay, yeah. The brother Paul and the, uh, Silas, I got uh, taken up and cast into prison for doing their thing, you know. 
the people came up against them and they got into prison. All right. So um, let me see here. Let me start at verse twenty-four. Uh, let me see. No, I'm gonna start at. Um, Verse 22, Acts 16 and 22. And the multitude rose up together against them, and against their and against the magistrates, rent off their clothes, and commanded them to be to beat them. Okay? So when you come in the truth, man, you're gonna take persecution. You're gonna have persecution. Okay? You're gonna have to take it, man. You know? Who knows? During the time of Jacob's trouble, man, some of the brothers might have to get beat up. You know, some other brothers might have to go in the uh FEMA camps. You know, that, those, those times are coming. I mean, it looks fine and dandy here in America right now, but, hey, when Esau comes in like a flood, all right, when that second wave comes through, when everything is locked down again, hey, things are going to be a whole lot more fucked up than they were last time uh, during March. I guarantee you. All right? That's why it's important to establish a fear for the Lord now, man, because you know what? The fear of the Lord will be your treasure in those days. All right. Now, when you go into that word "save," like I said, like just like the dictionary said, to to to, uh, to have for future use. Okay. Now, if you think about it, why would the Most High save you? Why would He save you? If He's not going to use you, why would He save you? That's what you got to think about. He's not going to just save you just to have you to be around. Think about it. You have something in your house that you do not use. What do you do? Do you keep it or do you give it away? Or do you throw it away? Same thing. All right? If you get saved, if you fill out an application and the most high is on, you are on the most high's list to get saved, that means definitely he is going to use you for something. All right? He's going to use you for something. Okay? So if he's going to use you for something, make yourself useful. Make yourself useful, man. Okay? In order for you to make yourself useful, you have to establish a fear for the Lord, man. Establish a fear for the Lord, man. Alright? Let's go to verse um, 23. And when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into prison, charging the jailer, charging the jailer to keep them safe. Who, having received such a charge, thrust them in the inner prison and made their feet fast in stocks. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto Yahweh. And the prisoners heard them. Okay? So even though they were getting persecuted, they were still singing praises. Get, you know, uh, 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 give me Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah to praise, man. You know? And, and when that time happens to us, if it does happen to some of the men of the Lord, I mean, some of us might not get cast into prisons, you know, but during the time of Jacob's trouble, more than likely, the majority of us are going to suffer some kind of uh, persecution. During that time, give all praises to the Most High, okay, because it also says in scriptures, okay, my servant shall eat. During the time of Jacob's trouble, Yahweh's servant shall eat, man, all right, Yahweh's servant shall eat, okay, that's where the fear of the Lord is going to kick in. All right, the fear of the Lord is survival mode, man. Okay, that's that survival gene in us, man. That fear gene of the Lord is genetically uh, in us, man. The ones that fear Yahweh, man. You know. Verse twenty-six, and suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken, and immediately the doors were opened. And everyone's bands were loose. So being that Paul and Silas were faithful, man, they were, uh, 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 there was a great earthquake. A lot, the Most High allowed his shackles to be uh, untangled or undone. And the prison doors were open, man. The Lord made a way out of no way. You see that? He is the father of spirits. He created good. He created evil. He created this earth, man. It's nothing for him to just rescue you, man. If you're in the bind during, during the time of Jacob's trouble, it's nothing for the Lord to come and rescue you, man. And that's why you got to read also. In order for you, for you to be saved, 
You have to build up faith. How do you build up faith? By reading. Okay? Scripture say, study to show, study to uh, show that self approval what we paraphrase. You know? Study to show that self approval what we paraphrase. Alright? And that's another thing you have to do to be saved. You have to study. Show yourself approved, man. Alright? You can't just get saved and not read the scriptures. You can't just get saved and know certain break and not know certain breakdowns. Okay? You can't just get saved and 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 and, and, and have a and, and, and have a free for have a free walk into the kingdom. No, it's gonna cost you. Okay? It's gonna cost you. Alright? So invest in the fear of the Lord, man. Alright? And the keeper of the prison, awakening out of sleep, and seeing the prison doors open, drew out his sword and would have killed himself, supposing that the prisoners had fled. But Paul cried out with a loud voice, saying, Do thyself no harm, for we are all here. Then he called for the light and sprang and, and, sprang and, and came trembling and fell down before Paul and Silas. Oh, that's the spirit right there. You see? So when the guard called for the light, you know, which is spiritual, he not only got that physical light, but he also received the light of salvation. All right? Verse 31, and they said, believe, no, verse 30, Acts 16 and 30, and brought them out and said, sirs, Wait a minute, let me, uh, let me go up. Acts 16 and 29. Then he called out for light and sprang, and sprang in and came trembling and fell down before Paul and Silas and brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? Shalom, Mark. Shalom, Mark. Today's subject of what must I do to be saved? Yeah. I'm on I'm on Acts uh, 16 and um, uh, 28 right now. Okay, oh, kind, kind. So like I said, when the guard saw the light, he not only saw the physical light, but he realized he needed to get, get saved. Something flipped in his head when he saw that light, man. You know? All right. And just going out of verse 30, and brought them out and said, "Sirs, what must I do to be saved?" And they said, Believe on the Lord, on the on Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, and, and thou shalt be saved in thy house. Okay? Now this is a faith-based scripture. Okay, I don't know what happened to the to the to the guard after that. Okay. But yes, you do have to have faith, but it doesn't just require faith to be saved. Alright? Faith without works is dead. Okay? Faith without works is dead. Okay? So in order for you to receive salvation. It requires work, okay? Yes, you have to admit that uh, that the, the Lord is not Jesus Christ, okay? And you you are Israelite, all that stuff. But that's, that, that's just the first thing. That's the first process. There's a whole, a lot of stuff you have to do, man. You got to study to show yourself approved, okay? You have to uh, establish a fear for the Lord, all right? Remember, the fear of the Lord is your treasure, okay? The fear of the Lord is your refuge, if it's your treasure, if it's your refuge, you don't need those things when you go through trials and tribulations, man. When you go through this walk of life, man. When you start to walk with the Lord, so why two and one? Um, when you come, worth your paraphrasing, when you come serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Okay? Fine. And you, as you can see in Job, uh, the, mo the most I told you time, have you considered my servant Job? Okay? The most I knew that he... Uh, the most I knew that Job feared him. All right? And I guarantee you, it was the fear of the Lord that kept Job, man. It was the fear of the Lord that kept Job. Even though he was going through a lot of shit, hey, he was going through a lot of stuff. Huh? Keep your cursing and preaching at the same time. Huh? The same time no, no. The, the scriptures say, do I speak with rough speech? I, I lack yeah, not yeah, in yeah. knowledge. No, you now can't see, curse. Words are words no, no, no. Give me, give me a scripture. Give me a scripture. Give me a scripture, give me a scripture where you say you can't curse. Give me a scripture. Give me a scripture. It's, yeah. it's, 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 no, 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 no. It's, it's the meaning behind it. No, 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 no. Scripture. I can't, I can't quote his ex. Scripture. It's been a long time. Okay, I'm gonna, saying, no, I'm going to give you a scripture. No, I'm going to give you a scripture. Well, hold on, hold no, on. No, no, no. 
Okay, no, no, brother. I'm, I'm not forgetting that. I'm, I'm saying, but bro, this is we dealing with scripture, scripture, yes, scripture. Yes, yes. Give me a scripture boy, and say I, I can't. I told you I can't. It's been a long time since I read this. You can't? Okay, can't so, but listen, listen, I got something for you. I got something for you. Okay, while you're looking that up, okay. another thing else. Okay. Uh, I'm walking up here, you see you gotta have faith, right? I got faith, you see you gotta have faith when I was walking up here, right? Okay. I got faith you're gonna go to civil living Okay, all right, but no, wait a minute now, wait a minute, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, going to school you something. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. All right. What's your nationality, bro? Me? Fat. Fat. No, what's your nationality? Italian, um, well, American, okay, all right, bro. Well, you know, you're not, you're not, you're not serious. I don't even know. I wasn't raised with my family. All right, brother. Well, you're not. I was raised in group homes and sheets and prisons and jails. Okay, all right. You know what? I'm going to let him leave. I'm going to leave you with this scripture. My nationality is the son of God. Oh, the son of God. That's I'm blasphemy, bro. God. I'm a son of God. Okay, the most, I, the most I could judge you for that, bro. Huh? The most I could judge you for that. You I'm said you the son of God? If I were to die now, I don't know where I'll go. Okay. I'm happy. You said you the son of God, though. Do I you? said the son, a son of God. Oh, okay. We're all children okay. of God, are we not? Okay, all right. Are we not children of God? Not all of us. Not all of us, bro. Oh, I'm saying we're all children, but it depends on the path we take, though. No, no, no it depends on your nationality. It goes on your nationality, your bloodline. Yeah, your bloodline. Bloodline Italian, mostly. Are you Italian? Okay. Well, your father's side? Mama's side. They don't go by your mother either. Go by yeah, your father. Yeah, you go by your father. Your so I don't know. My father don't even know where he's at. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, don't, I didn't yeah. grow up with my family. My dad wasn't there. I was an oose baby. Oose oh. got my mama pregnant at 18 and all that. Okay. But let, let me give you this scripture, okay? Okay. All right. Go. This is the book of 2 Corinthians 11 okay. and 6. But though I be rude in speech, mm -hmm. I be rude in speech. Mm -hmm. So when you're rude in speech, that means you cuss. Not necessarily. No, 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 no. Not but no, no. Oh, bro. speech, you mean you could be offended. So okay, brother, I need you to bring rude. out some scriptures. I need you to bring okay, out but scriptures. Keep going, keep going. What do you mean, though? Okay, but though I be rude in speech, uh -huh. yet not in knowledge, but we have been thoroughly made manifest among you in all things. So Paul said, when he go, when you go out and preach, uh -huh. he make you may be rude in speech. You may yeah, cuss. Offensive. Not, not okay. cussing. It doesn't say cussing. It means rude as in offensive. Okay. That's rude. But but when it you cuss, that's rude. offensive. But it doesn't say cussing. It says rude. Well, rude is broad. It can but mean like cussing. It can mean... He may be rude. Like he may be down to the point serious about something. Okay, and, but and I need you. Okay, bro. Offensive and think it's rude. Okay, bro. I need you to bring out scriptures, man. I need you to bring out scriptures. It's all how you break it down. That's what. The, no, that's it's, it's not it. how you break it down. It's how the scriptures break it down. Break it down. How, how you all right, bro. All right, bro. I'm gonna continue teaching. I'm gonna continue teaching. It's how you how you break it down. Is how you you absorb it. And then you preach for how you bring it down. Okay, brother, you need to go, you need to start your own camp too. You I'm not to trying to start my own there. I'm just I'm just saying the truth. All right, I'm I'm gonna keep going. Okay, bro. I'm gonna keep going. Alright, what must you do to be saved? Okay. So you got a got a bug out there, you know. We you try to teach them the word and that's how bug guys do. They come up here, all of a sudden they they are preaching in a scholar. You know what I'm saying? Oh, all of a sudden he a scholar now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I told him, say, look, bring out the scriptures. Bring out scriptures. No, you don't want to bring out scriptures. You can't bring out scriptures. Con, con. Bro, I didn't know it was in me to do that, bro. Because I, I I just got kind of frustrated when he said that. That's the first scripture that came to mind. Why are you cussing? Oh, okay, I'm going to hit you with this. But, man, but you're going to have those, man. You're going to have scoffers like that. They have their own interpretation on what, on how to get saved, on what faith is. See, that's Christianity in a nutshell. Yeah, exactly. That's Christianity in a nutshell right there. And I guarantee you that dude don't, don't even go to church. He don't even go to church. You know, he go around probably begging for money and stuff like that, man. <laughs> wow, man. So why do y'all about shimmy y'all a shot, man? Come on, so why do y'all about shimmy y'all a shot? Come on, come on. Let me go back to that scripture. Uh, this is the book of Acts, chapter 16, uh, verse... Um, uh, let's see. 30? Yeah, verse 30. Verse 30. The book of Acts, chapter 16, verse 30. And brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on Yahweh Shahamashiach, and thou shalt be saved, and thou household. And they spake unto him with the word, and they spake unto him with, and they spake unto him the word of the Lord, and all, and all, and to all that were in the house. Okay? So, you know, Yahweh Shah requires you, yes, it requires faith for you to get saved, okay? But there's it's, 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 it's work behind it. It's like, let's yeah. start off with the basics. It requires you to be from one of the 12 tribes of Israel to get saved. Yeah, let's true, start off true. with the basics. Like, con, con. start off with that. that? Like, okay, come on, come on. You gotta be from 
and 12 tribes to make it. Mm-hmm, true. You, you gotta be, exactly. You throw out a brother for bringing that out. Okay. I should have brought that out. Throw out for the correction. You have, you have to know your nationality. You have to realize that the only the 12 tribes of Israel are the ones that's gonna get saved. The Most High is not gonna just save everybody. He's not, just because you saved in, I mean, just because you get saved in church, uh, uh, it, it doesn't mean that you're gonna get saved. If, if you're not from one of the 12 tribes of Israel, you're not gonna get saved, point blank. It's like that book I said, everybody's yeah. a man, a child of God. No, nah, everybody's not that. <laughs> nah, everybody not a child of the Lord. The Most High came for, uh, it says in, uh, what was that, the book of Matthew, chapter one, verse 14, I think it was, where Yahweh Shai came for the nation of Israel to save his people. Let me see. Shit, Acts, Acts 5, um, 29 to, to 31. Oh, okay. let's see, Acts 5. Acts 5, 29 and 31. Acts 5, 29 and 31. Let's get that out right now. Acts 5. All right. You said 29, 20. Acts 5, 29 and 31. 29 and 31. Then, okay, then, Acts uh, chapter 5, 29 through 31. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, What all... We ought, we ought to obey Yahweh rather than men. The God of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom he slew and hanged on, on a tree. Him, him hath Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be a prince and savior, to give repentance to Israel for, for, for forgiveness of sin. Con. See, Yahweh Shai came to save the children of Israel. It didn't say Moab. It didn't say the Egyptians. It didn't say the Ethiopians. Because you do have those nationalities in, in the scriptures. The water. That was a Yahweh precept. The water. The water. And that's the thing about having two, two or one or two brothers out here. I mean, two or more brothers out here, man. You can feed out the, the other brother's energy and the other brother's precept. Fine. Let me read that again. Verse 31. Well, it's starting at 29, all the way down to 31. I'll read it. You read? Okay. Uh, Acts 5, verse 29. That Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to be the Most High rather than men. The power of our fathers raised up Yahweh, whom ye slew and hanged on the tree. Him hath the Most High exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior, for to give repentance to Yasharala and forgiveness of sins. Con, con. So forgiveness of sins refers to the Israelites, man. The nation of Israel, the 12 tribes. You know, not everybody's going to get saved. Okay? The water y'all about shimmy, I was shot. And I'm a. I'm a con, con, I got another precept for that. The water, that was a Yahweh precept. Let me go to the book of. Uh, let's see, the book of Matthew, chapter 1. And, no, you good, brother. No problem. The book of Matthew, chapter 1, starting at verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and shall, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people from their sins. Okay? He shall save, he shall save his people from their sins. Who are his people? Like the brother brought out in Acts uh, uh, chapter 5, verse 29 through 31. All right? Israel. Israel is, his, is Yahweh Shai's people. All right? Israel is Yahweh Shai's people, man. Okay? I'm going to read that verse again, brother. Uh, the, let me go over that verse again. The book, the book of Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai. For he shall save his people from their sins. Again, it but says... That's a pruna, his pro, people. Con, con. Uh, yeah. And, that, and that's possessive. Okay? okay? That's that's showing his people. So Yahweh shot for his people. My own people. His people. Okay? The nation of Israel. Who are the nation of Israel? The Torah tribes. The Torah tribes are the nation of Israel. It didn't say all can be saved. When it, John 3.16 says, oh, you know, you got them John 3.16, it's the whole world, for God so loved the world, but it's talking about the nation of Israel. You have many types of worlds, man, okay? 
you got the nation of the world of Islam, you got the world of uh, veganism, you got the world of uh, sports, you got cosmos. The yeah, cosmos. Yeah, that's the the Latin, right? Yeah, okay. it goes into the Latin cosmos. Okay. Okay, come, on, come. On. Got what you got? Matthew ten. Matthew ten. Uh, Matthew ten and five. Okay, ten and five. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, and the twelve, the, these twelve, your house I sent forth and commanded them, saying, "Go not into the way, go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans. Enter, enter ye not, but rather go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel." Con, con. So that's see, that's another y'all for free sale. Go to the it said, but rather go to the lost sheep of Israel. Did it say go to the Egyptians, go to Moab, go to Amalek, go to uh the Edomites, the Moabites? Okay, no, nah, it says go to the lost sheep. Go into the law, but rather, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The water y'all by Shem Shah. See? Those are the ones that's going to get saved. Those lost sheep are the ones that's supposed to get saved, man. Not everybody. Not everybody. So that bullshit that you're hearing in churches, anyone can get saved? No. No, only the Israelites can't get saved. Okay? Even the two-thirds that's going to get uh, that's going to get killed, okay, they're going to re still receive mercy. They're going to come back to the ones of the elect. Okay? But the most, how I said, right here, Go not into the way of the Gentiles. Go not into the way of the Gentiles. And into any city of the Samaritans. Enter ye not. But go rather to the lost sheep of Israel. But rather go to the lost sheep of Israel. Okay? And our people were scattered among the nations, man. Okay? We were scattered among the nations, man, because we went off. Okay. Oh, you got another piece of Okay. This is Romans, uh, Romans 9. Okay, come on, come on. And I say the truth, and Hamashiach, I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the holy, in the, uh, of Kadash, in the holy, in the holy spirit. That I have a continual, that I have a great heaviness, a continual sorrow in my heart. For I, uh, this is verse 3, so I can, For I could wish that myself were cursed from Hamashiach for my brethren my kinsmen mm. according to flesh mm. who are Israelites mm. to whom pertaineth the adoption Ooh. and the glory and the covenant and the giving of the law and the service of the most high and the promises oh oh so who was the law given to who was the law oh it, it says it right there in scripture nah, oh, what's the, what Romans Romans nah, I got I got that one too this is uh, okay. Psalms 147. Psalms 147. Come on, come on. Verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob, and his statutes and his judgments unto Yasharala, or Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nations, Ooh. and for his judgments they have not known. They have not known them. Praise ye, Yahweh. Wow. So it says he has not known any other nation. He has not dealt so. Del with oh, so like uh, dealt. Uh, but same, same thing. Okay. Dealt with any other nation. Wow. Cut. Cut. We can end it right there. I mean, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> we can end it right there. I mean, basically, people. Oh, man. All right, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. So why do y'all about y'all shot? Why do y'all about y'all So the Most High has not dealt with any other nation. Only the nation of Israel can't get saved. And that's in scripture. Okay, so where, where is Pastor Porkchop getting getting his information from? Saying that anyone can get saved. What's his breakdown? What's his uh what's his Greek? So where's his science? Where, where, how, do, how you get two and two? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, where's your math at? That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying, man. You, you, hey, you put a white collar on your net, man, you, you, you just get respected all the time, man. It just... Oh, pastor, how you doing? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Right. They get more, more respect than the cops with, 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 that go into a convenience store or a grocery store. Okay. Even even the cops respect the minister, a fake minister. <laughs> yeah. But nobody respects a real man of the Lord who's pushing out his truth. Yeah. You yeah. know? Kind, kind. You, yeah. When you get the, but bro. You yeah. know what I'm slacking? You know what no, I find funny? What's that? Like, you see how people just walk up and they comment 
and they tell you, oh, you're doing it wrong. Mm -hmm. They would never mm -hmm. walk into pa to, to a church and do that shit. Oh, no. You understand no. what I'm saying? They, won't they give walk reverence to these fucking devils. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. They do give reverence to these goddamn devils. And the brother right. The hand in hand. Those pastors, they, yep. they just yep. as evil as the fucking Edomites. Come on, come on. They use hand in hand. You know? Wait, what is it? That's that scripture. Father, you're, you're, don't, don't you're join hand in hand? Something like that. Something yeah, like they'll join hand in hand. The dang, see, I can't think of it. Man. That's why I got this. This, though, join hand in hand, they should. Dang, I can't think of it. Let me look it up. Though, join. Though, joined hand in hand. Okay. It's uh, uh, Proverbs. Okay, con, con. Uh, I think it's. Uh, no, no hand join in hand. The wicked should not be unpunished. Mm -hmm. But the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. The shall be delivered. Yep. The seed of the righteous shall be delivered. It's like it. That's Proverbs 11 and 12. Kind, kind. So 11 and 21. So 21. Okay, kind. kind. See? Only, only the righteous shall get saved, man. The righteous. The, who are the righteous? The ones that are doing this work. Okay? Don't join hand in hand. The wicked shall not, the, uh, the wicked shall not be uh, punished. So you may say, oh, well, I'm joining hands with a lot of people or whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get with everybody. Everybody can get saved. you my brother. I don't care what your nationality is. Okay, yeah, I mean, you may get along with people here on earth or whatever, but the scripture still tells you who's going to get saved. Okay? Just because you join hand to hand with another dude, if you want to receive a nuke just like he's going to receive a nuke, go right ahead. All right? You want to get punished? You want to uh, taste the, the wrath of the Most High without mixture? Okay, going right ahead. Hey, you know, but hey, in the book it says um, Israel is gonna get saved. Okay, not not no not no Moab, not no Edomite, not no Egyptian, not no Ethiopian. Okay, and you have these nationalities in scriptures, but the Most High specifically talks about Israel. Specifically talks about Israel. How Israel can get saved, man.